Parker Solar Probe discovers the secrets of the Sunday. NASA's Parker Solar Probe takes images suns from only 6 million kilometers away. New photographs can help solve two mysteries, how the solar corona achieve extremely high temperature and how the solar wind is formed. Parker Solar Probe has been brought into space space in August 2018. It has the size of a small car and weighs just above 600 pounds. It explores the space area that has been he was not explored. The probe is designed to survive temperatures over 1,400 degrees Celsius enough to melt steel keeping the research instruments at a comfortable room temperature. On December 24 last year, Parker's solar probe flew just 6.1 million kilometers from the surface of the Sun, approaching our stars at the shortest distance in history. During the flight, she achieved velocity of about 690,000 km per hour and was exposed to temperature 980 degrees Celsius. Flying through the outer atmosphere of the Sun, called with a crown, she collected data using a number of scientific instruments, including Wide Field Imager for Solar Probe, or WISPAIR. December 27 scientists the missions managers received a signal from her that the probe survived at close meeting and working normally. Photos taken by the probe showed the wind up close sun a constant stream of electrically charged particles released by the sun that travels through the solar system at great speed, evoking a wide range of effects. Photographs from the WISPAIR instrument allowed scientists take a closer look at what is happening to the solar wind soon after his release from the solar corona. Researchers could also see coronal up close up for the first time ejection, CME coronal mass ejection, and their merging. CME is a plasma cloud emitted by the sun and accelerated to the huge speed in the solar corona area. These types of events can affect the space weather. The reprojection of matter from the Sun directed at the Earth could threaten satellites, disrupt communication and navigation technologies and even destroy the power grids. The Parker Solar Probe has once again taken us into the dynamic atmosphere of our star, said Nikki Fox of NASA. We saw with our own eyes where the threats to the Earth come from with the weather. This new data will help us to significantly improve our forecast space weather to keep our astronauts safe and protect our technology here on Earth and throughout the solar system, he added. Photos taken by the probe showed that when the coronal mass ejections collide with each other, their trajectory may change, it makes it difficult to predict their location. Combining them can also accelerate charged particles and mixing magnetic fields, which means that the effects of CME can be potentially dangerous for space astronauts and space satellites and for ground technologies. In the pictures we see how the coronal mass ejections overlapping here, said Angelos Vauerleitas of Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory. We use this to find out how CMEs combine with each other, what may be important for space weather, he added. Data collected by Parker Solar Probe during a record-breaking approaching the sun to help scientists to better prepare for this type of phenomena. The concept of the solar wind was developed in 1958 American astrophysicist Eugene Parker, from whom the probe took its name. His is the theories that were criticized at first revolutionized away, the solar system we perceive. In the vicinity of the Earth, the solar wind is relatively stable, but data from the Parker Solar Probe spacecraft showed that it is something completely on the sun to the other. The solar wind exists in two basic states. It is fast and the free solar wind. These phenomena differ in speed, composition, temperature, and the place of creation. When the probe reached a distance of 23.5 million kilometers from the sun has come across sudden changes in the direction of the magnetic field. 
It turns out that this zigzag magnetic field is more common than expected. In the last year, scientists announced that the rapid solar wind is partly it is driven by these structures. However, understanding the slow solar wind which it moves at a speed of about 350 km per second, which is half the size of the fast the solar wind required a closer look at it. The solar free wind is also twice as denser and more variable than the rapid solar wind. The big it was unknown how the solar wind is made and how it manages to escape a huge gravity of the sun, said Naura Wafai of Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory. Understanding this continuous flow of particles, and especially free solar wind is a huge challenge, especially by taking it under attention diversity of properties of these streams, but thanks to Parker Solar Probe we are closer to discovering its origin and evolution, he added. Observations from the time before the Parker launch solar probe suggested the existence of two varieties of free solar wind, differing in orientation or variation of the magnetic field. One called the wind of Alphen is characterized by small corners in the magnetic field. The second the genus, called the non alphen wind, does not show such changes. Parker Solar Probe confirms two types of solar wind. The data it collects also helps to distinguish the origin of these two types of wind, which scientists believe are unique. The wind not alphen can form in loop formations connecting active the areas on the surface of the Sunday. On the other hand, the wind source of alphen may be nearby crown holes, i.e. dark, cooler areas in the crown. <laughs>